Hi, I'm Dr. Terry Chambers, and I'm going to talk about children in chiropractic care. When is it too young? When is it appropriate? Why should a child even be considered to undergo chiropractic services? And what is the purpose of a chiropractic adjustment as it relates to the growth of a child? I want you to think about when your baby is first born. It's just a nice little C-shaped you know, baby that has no curves. It's not until you lie the baby on its belly and it raises its head that the C curve develops. As the baby starts to walk or crawl, as he's crawling or creeping, the middle back curve, the thoracic spine develops, and then the lumbar curve develops. That's why it's important to have a normal progression from lifting their head to creeping, to crawling, to walking. They'll give time for that C-shaped spinal cord to develop correctly into a functional three-curved mechanism that is important to maintain their health throughout their life. Now watch your child who's developed correctly in what they do. They're swinging on a swing, they're up on the monkey bars, they fall twice their height, you look, they dust themselves off, they cry, and you say, you're okay. Imagine you, if you were twice your height at your current age and you fell, how you would hurt. Sometimes these mini traumas that we think are normal for kids, hitting their head, falling, doesn't cause any structural issues with their neck, back, or lower back. But in reality, it does. It can cause vertebrae to get misaligned, joints to get out of place, lower back curves to change. And yet you have a child that's still growing and yet does not have a normally functioning spinal cord or spinal structure growing correctly due to these micro traumas, major traumas, that we often think are normal for childhood development. And that just isn't true. So having your child looked at at an early age to determine whether or not they are structurally sound is only good, good science. It makes good health decisions to make sure that the pelvis spine is maturing correctly, that the vertebrae are aligned, that the curves are formed. It doesn't necessarily mean that the kid may or may not need treatment, but there is a misalignment. Often realigning with an instrument or with soft tissue work is safe. It's nothing gross as far as the movements or fast twitch that has to be done. You can do effective treatment depending upon the age group. It's like any other forms of medicine. You wouldn't take a geriatric patient who's 80 and be real aggressive. You'd be gentle with him, just like a child. So the question is, is chiropractic necessary? Is it safe? And is it effective for children? It's probably more effective for children than it is for adults because you're catching it as they're developing. It is safe if the proper techniques are being used. And it's effective because it allows the vertebrae and joints to grow in a healthy way as the children are still going through their growth spurts. Many times, headache pain, neck pain, allergies, certain symptoms such as you know, having chronic knee pains, growth pains, are often related to neuromuscular issues that occur from falls and twists as they were growing up. So the answer is yes. It's safe, it's effective, and it's good advice. I'm Dr. Terry Chambers, and thanks for your time with this video.